Okay, well, today I decided that we could cook Donald Trump. Now, first of all, I do know that Donald Trump likes steak, so you need to get yourself a big old steak. You know what I mean? I got this one for $4.80 because I'm a very smart shopper. And uh, this whole meal to cook Donald Trump, even though he's worth many billions, it probably only costs about $10. So maybe less, really, if you're a smart shopper. Now, the main ingredient that you're going to need is macaroni and cheese. As you can see here, I got the Kraft brand. I love Kraft. And this says, smile, it's the cheesiest. So I thought for sure when you're talking about Donald Trump, you do need the extra cheesy version. Now, um, to make his hair, you're going to need some top ramen. Now, I think when you're talking about Donald Trump, you should get the pork flavor top ramen. So I got myself some pork top ramen. It's about 30 cents a package, so no excuses. If you can't afford that, then you need to get a job. Now, I know that Donald likes to put ketchup on all his foods, so I have ketchup also as one of my ingredients. Now, this is an organic ketchup that I already had in my fridge, but I suggest if you're making Donald Trump that you get the biggest, most corporate brand of Heinz ketchup that you can find. Get that conglomerate billion dollar brand. Don't get this little organic mom and pop ketchup here. And the reason that I uh, incorporated baby carrots into my Donald Trump dinner is because I would imagine that when you unzip Donald's pants, you might see something that looks like a baby carrot, right? So anyway, poor Melania. Now, if you have $8 billion of cash, you could shred it and garnish it on top for a real Donald Trump type feeling. All right, so we're gonna brown this steak up, cook it up. So we just keep that steak cooking, and then you wanna start boiling the water for the macaroni and cheese and the ramen. So you can cook kind of, the ramen only takes like three minutes, but the macaroni and cheese takes a little bit longer. So I'll cook that first. Okay, so you wanna put, fill up your pot with water and start boiling it. All right, so you wanna keep this steak flipping, rotate it. Okay, you don't, Donald Trump likes his steak well done, that I know, so. Unfortunately, he doesn't like his presidency well done, <laughs> and nobody seems to think so. <laughs> it's very rare, this presidency. All right, so then you can put in the macaroni and cheese. You start, once the water for the mac and cheese starts boiling, you open the box of the cheesiest Kraft macaroni and cheese. Always, if you're cooking Donald Trump, get the cheesiest kind. I'm telling you. Okay, and save the little package of the cheese. And I have to read <laughs> the thing because I forgot how to cook macaroni and cheese, but I used to live off this shit, okay? But it's been a while. Boil the water. Okay, we're doing that. Stir it and cook seven to eight minutes. Oh, okay. Okay, it's easy. All right, so then put the mac... Oh my God, what the fuck? Okay. Okay, put that shit in there. Okay. Okay. Next, after the macaroni and cheese is boiling and your steak is cooking, you want to start cooking the ramen. So grab your pork flavored ramen, add two cups of water. One. Two. Okay, and you start boiling that water. I turn the steak off because I don't want to overcook it. So I'm gonna start cooking again in a minute, but for now, we can start cooking the ramen. Okay, so once the water is boiling for the ramen, you add the noodles, and this is gonna be Donald Trump's hair. Okay, very important that you get the hair right. So, put that in there, okay? And put in that pork flavor, because you know Donald Trump's got a lot of pork flavor in him. His hair 
Don't ask me what the fuck that is. I don't even know what that, I couldn't even tell you what kind of animal that is. I will tell you that Donald Trump might have been born in America, but that hair is made in China, honey. Ooh, that is good. The cooking makes a bitch hungry, shit. Okay, the top ramen's done. You don't want to overcook the top ramen. So you'll know the top ramen is done after just like three minutes. It cooks very fast. Turn it off and put it aside. All right, it's time to drain the water from the macaroni and cheese. You'll want to wear some gloves because that pot got nice and hot sitting on the stove. So you need to wear some gloves when you do that. Now, you could use a strainer if you want, but if you're lazy like me, you just take the lid of the pot that you had, put it on there. Just make a little opening, you know what I mean? So the mac and cheese doesn't fall out. And then just drain that water into the sink. Get rid of that water. Oosh, there we go. Careful not to lose your mac and cheese because that's what you need to make Donald Trump, honey. All right, now next thing is you wanna stir in a little bit of butter. You don't really need to measure this or anything like that. Hold on, we don't wanna burn that steak now, do we? Flip that thing over. Make sure it's nice and well done. All right, now, so you're gonna put a little butter in here so it doesn't stick. You don't need to measure, just put, just grab a little, you see just a little bit of butter, like that much. Stir her in to your mac and cheese. You just don't want it to stick. And I never, when I'm making mac and cheese, I don't measure anything, because it's, you know, it's not a, scientific kind of thing. The next thing you want to do is add a little milk to your macaroni and cheese. Now you don't need to measure anything. Just put a splash of milk in there. All right. The th if you want thicker mac and cheese, then you put less milk. If you want the, the cheese to be a little thinner, you put more. All right. And then add the cheesy cheese powder in there. Ooh, look at that, look at that. You see that? See how that looks? Now you're gonna mix this together to make some Donald Trump, honey. All right, stir that up. Get that nice orange color up in there. There we go. Ooh wee, look, just mix it up good, you know? Mix it up, good. Now, if you want, you can always put a little bit of fresh cheese in there too. It'll melt really nicely with your hot mac and cheese. You can put any kind of your favorite cheese. Now, I recommend cheddar cheese if you're making Donald Trump because you want that orange color. You see that orange color there? Okay, once all your ingredients are cooked, you are ready to assemble Donald Trump. So. Get a nice clean plate, put it down, get your macaroni and cheese, which is really gonna be the um, main ingredient. So stir it up a little, get it all nice and good, and lay it out. Lay it out on the plate, like, do this like, okay, because you're building his face here is what you're doing. So you have all your mac and cheese nice and even on the plate, okay? Like so. All right. Let's get that mac and cheese in there. Mm -mm. Okay, so once you have the beginning of Donald Trump's face, you want to add some eyes and a mouth. So you take your steak, right? Get it on your plate and cut out the shape of some eyes, right? I like to just kind of do it like this. All right, so lay out the first eyeball, then go ahead and 
cut yourself up another little eyeball. Well, really, Donald Trump's eyes are much smaller, so just you don't need that much steak for the eyes. Like you could do like that and like that, and just put it in there in the mac and cheese, right? Okay. All right, and then I think you need to kind of shape up that face a little bit. There you go. All right, then you can, and if it's not looking like Donald Trump, don't get mad at me because, you know, I just thought of this right before we started cooking, but hopefully I can make it look something like him. Now get this steak all cut up and you're going to make a nose out of it. Okay. So get that steak cut into the shape of a nose. Okay, there we go. Now you need to do his big old lion mouth, right? <laughs> okay, so cut this up some more. Everybody's Donald Trump's gonna look a little different because we're all artists. So, you know, your Donald Trump might not look like mine, and mine might not look like yours, but that's okay. And then. You can take your top ramen and you're gonna make his hair. So you get that top ramen out. You don't need the broth, you just, do you like how I say this like all scientific, like I'm like working for NASA? It's really not that much to it, really. It's macaroni and cheese with ramen. And, okay, and then you make, and then you make the hair. Okay, okay, then you just keep, th this is the signature of what really makes Donald, Donald Trump. Donald always wears suits. So take your leftover steak, okay? So you got some leftover steak, right? Okay, kind of build like, the, oops. You're gonna build like the beginning of his suit. You know what I'm saying? Like the bottom part, kind of. Take this leftover steak, put it around the plate, okay? So you can make, oh. hold on. See, everybody's on Trump's gonna look different. Yours is not gonna look exactly like mine, and mine's not gonna look exactly like yours. But you know. Okay. Now, in between where the suit is, you want to tie. And that's where the ketchup comes in. So you go ahead and put yourself a little squirt of ketchup right there to make like a tie for the suit. Okay, so congratulations. You have cooked Donald Trump for dinner. Mm-mm.